What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be discussing the 2022 Mercedes-Benz C-Class. This vehicle for the 2022 model year is going to be completely redesigned, both from the exterior and the interior, and we're also going to get a ton of new technology, an updated platform, and a ton of new engine options. I'm going to be covering all of that in today's video, so stay tuned. Before the video begins, I would just really like to quickly say that if you are new to this channel, I pretty much post videos about car news and just a ton of information about cars. So if you're into cars and you like that kind of thing, if you could hit the red subscribe button and press the like button on this video, it would really mean a lot. My goal is 2,000 subscribers. If you could help me reach that, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. But anyways, let's get straight into the details. All right, so first I'm going to discuss the design of this vehicle. First I'm going to show you guys spy shots of the car and then right after that I'll show you very accurate renders to what it's actually going to look like and those renders are about 99% accurate. So starting off on the front of the vehicle as you can see in these spy shots a lot of it is covered but we can get a lot of details. We have a brand new grille on the front of the vehicle as well as the lights are going to be simplified and completely changed from the previous generation. Here is a render of what it's going to look like and I'm pretty sure you've noticed by now it looks a lot like the new S-Class. This is pretty much going to be like a baby S-Class design wise, maybe even technology wise. Looking at the side of profile of this vehicle, pretty much nothing has changed. In my opinion, we just have a couple of new body lines, but it's nothing too significant. It doesn't really look too different than the current C-Class that we have right now. We're probably just going to get maybe slightly different side view mirrors, maybe slightly different door handles. And obviously, just like with any generation, we'll have our new options for the rims, we'll have new choices, things like that. Now looking at the rear of this vehicle, as you can see, even through the Spy Shots camo, you can right away, right off the bat, notice that the lights are completely changed and it just looks very different than the previous outgoing C-Class. If this looks familiar, think about the E-Class because the brand new 2021 E-Class, which was actually just recently refreshed, has the exact same light design. This is a little bit different than the S-Class. Here's a picture of the new S-Class on screen. The lights are slightly different on the S-Class. The C-Class and the E-Class pretty much have an identical rear uh, design now. The C-Class pretty much takes the E-Class's lights and just copies and pastes it right onto the back of itself. It's literally the same exact thing as the E-Class. And personally, I actually prefer these rear lights of the C-Class and the E-Class over the new S-Class. The S-Class lights look kind of droopy and weird and just a weird awkward shape that kind of points downward. These I think have a lot better styling than the S-Class and I wish the S-Class would have gotten these lights, would have looked a lot better. Alright, now looking at the interior of this vehicle, it's pretty much like I said, a baby S-Class. It's literally the same exact interior as the 2021 S-Class which was just redesigned. The only difference is that the screen is just smaller on the C-Class as well as the gauge cluster. That's pretty much it. We don't have too much information about the technology but we do know that is getting the newest MBUX software, which means that it's going to get most of the newest uh, technology features and things like that from the S-Class. Probably not every single feature from the S-Class because then there would really be no point in buying an S-Class and spending like $120,000 versus the forty dollars to $50,000 for the C-Class. But we probably are going to get a lot of nice and advanced and modern features that even cars like the S-Class have. So that's kind of exciting news. You get a lot of technology at the price point, which the C-Class is priced at. Another major thing to point out about this new C-Class is that the platform that it's going to be on is actually the same as the previous generation C-Class, but it is an updated version. It's going to be a lot newer, a lot better, and a lot more advanced, and one of the biggest things that they're going to be doing is they're going to be using actually aluminum over steel, which is going to significantly improve the platform of the car. Alright, and now for the engine options of this vehicle. The very base model of the new C-Class is probably going to be similar to the one we have right now, a 2 liter turbocharged inline 4 engine, but one huge difference is that this time around in this generation they're going to add a hybrid system. This probably means that they'll have an electric motor for maybe better gas mileage and also better torque. Above this one, it's more, we're most likely going to get a plug-in hybrid version, probably still an inline 4 engine, maybe a V6, but we're going to have that plug-in hybrid capability, which is nice, which adds electrification to the lineup. This also means that you might have a little bit of extra torque and that you get that instantaneous torque from the electric systems, which electric vehicles do have. And this one's going to be obviously a plug-in hybrid, so you'll also have the benefit of driving on full electric. I'm assuming anywhere from 40 to 50, maybe 60 miles of electric range will be available on this version. For the plug-in hybrid, unfortunately, we don't have horsepower or torque numbers yet or how big the engine is going to be, but that's all the information we have for now. 
All right, and above that plug-in hybrid, we are going to get a C53 AMG. This one is also going to be a mild hybrid powertrain. Again, the horsepower and torque numbers are unknown. As soon as we get that, I will keep you guys updated. And then the very highest one is going to be obviously the C63 AMG, which we all know and love. But this one is very controversial. So here's what's going on. This is also going to be a hybrid, you know, getting that hybrid treatment. And we're also most likely, unfortunately, getting a four-cylinder engine uh, in replacement of the V8 that we have on the C63 right now. Horsepower should be around 500. Uh, the current one has 470, so I would expect them to at least bump it up a little bit, like e at least 10 to 15 horsepower for the next generation. But we won't be getting a V8, which is really upsetting and very controversial for a lot of people. But yeah, that wraps it up. That is the entire details that we have for this new vehicle. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you like the design of this vehicle and do you like the engine options of this vehicle? Personally, I think I'll have to wait until I give my opinion, until I actually see how they perform, things like that, and until horsepower numbers are released. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. That's all of the information that I have. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.